Hello. And welcome back to Prodigy RP. So the last episode, we finally got into the racing scene a little bit. We got a new car and uh, quite a bit more. And also, I did a stream a couple days ago, uh, the same day that the last video uploaded. We ended up getting a lot more bands of cash as well as cash stacks and rolls. So we have 238 rolls, 20 bands at the moment. So we need to clean those eventually. Also, I've continued working on the boosting. It's really hard to get past B class. So we're going to be here for a while. Um, from what I heard, we need around 1,000 XP. We're currently at 147 so uh we got quite a while ago till we get to a class but still gonna be working on that in the background now i have a couple ideas for today one of them is i kind of want to go around to some of the mechanic shops and see if possibly any of them are hiring first of all this would be a great way to make some legal money on the kind of off time as well as potentially meet a lot of people through the mechanic shop meet some of the gang members meet a meet a pretty much just a bunch of people get our name out there a little bit get people knowing us so i think we're gonna try and see if there's any of them hiring at the moment it might be a bad idea maybe no one's hiring at the moment but we can at least try um i also do want to get more into two of the gangs possibly start talking to some of them see if any of them need resources or help with anything again same thing with the job get our name out there people know that we're not a cop etc people can start trusting us we can make some connections with different people and of course just grow our uh, our name out there a little bit as well as get more into the criminal scene uh, so for now let's go grab my car and now before we start i want to get the car changed up a little bit if i want to be honest i wasn't too happy with the customization that we did in the last video so let's go grab our car and uh find a mechanic shop that's open and get them to customize our car a little bit as well as ask if they have any jobs available or if they're hiring so again let's grab our car out and head over there and i'll see you in just a second or two Alrighty, rolling up to autos autos it said they were open and this is one of the only ones that were open up right now but they're not open okay so maybe we don't want to work at a place that advertises that is not open autos needs iron right here this is autos autos right this is autos autos they're not open okay well what other mechanic shops are open um golden pub autos was the first one i saw anything else open for mechanic shops oh my gosh so there is harmony but that's all the way up north so i guess i guess we're ping-ponging back through i'm gonna head all the way up north hopefully this one isn't a false advertisement and they're actually open let's go see all right so we're almost at harmony really hoping that they're one open and two possibly hiring uh, again this is just like a little check if they're not hiring it's not a big deal i did come by here earlier and they weren't hiring about a week ago so, oh my there's it's a lot of cars in there uh let's pull on in hello do you work here uh no but there's lots of people who do work here what's up Okay, I'm just looking to get uh, some customization. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, they might be back there now. Okay. Looks like some racers are here. I definitely remember that guy from the races, that car. Look, I, remember, I think I know that black one as well from the races. We're going to have to do some more races soon. Actually, are there any going on? We'll check after this. Man in the baby mask works here if you want to ask him. Oh, perfect. Hi, man. Yo. Uh, do you work here? Yes, sir. Uh, is there any chance we get a quick customization done? Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, what car? What car would you? Uh, the Virgo customize? over there. All right. You want everything done or just uh? Oh, just the paint. Of... All right. Just take it out back. Okay. A little bit of an interesting customization place. Let's go out to the back of the place. I'm guessing right here. Oh, I see. I see. Nicer lighting in here than uh, down at the other shop for sure. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. What color would you like the car, bro? Um, honestly, can we try out black and black with uh, the same livery? Are you looking like a matte black, metallic black? What kind of black are you looking uh, like? Probably metallic. All right. Here's metallic black. I just need to give it a wash first. Okay. Let me do that. 
That'd be amazing. Um, are you guys hiring, by the way, by any chance? Um, I think not right now because uh, the owner hired like 17 people. Yeah, that's what I heard. Week, okay. So. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, metallic, metallic black. Might want to remove the pro lesson if possible. That'd be great. Oh, uh, yeah, we can do that. Oh, okay. We can do a map black per lesson, so it's just black. Yeah, that'd be perfect. There you go. Now it has a black per lesson and it's map black. Uh, uh, metallic black, I mean. Okay, perfect. Um, what do you think about the the top? Should I change that black as well, or you think it looks good white? Uh, Just your if opinion. It's, uh, if you keep the wheels white, then it's good. But if you change the wheels, then it's kind of. Okay, yeah, I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. I think. All right. Anything else? Oh, uh, I think that's gonna be about it. All right, you're looking at two hundred dollars. Perfect. Not too much. And uh, can you send it to two four two nine? Two four two nine. There you go. Oh, thank you so much. Of course, of course. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, there we go. Changed it up a little bit. Honestly, it looks way nicer this way, in my opinion. I think it looks way nicer with the black and the white top instead, as well with the white pinstriping and everything. Now, unfortunately, this place is not hiring, so we are going to have to look elsewhere. It sounds like they just hired a bunch of people. So uh, we're going to have to look a little bit deeper, but for now, we're going to head back to the apartment, regroup, park this thing up, make sure all the customization is saved, and I will see you guys once we're there. All right, so again, we're back home. Now, the plan is I just saw that I believe Stroke Masters, which is the one near the pier, is open. I swear I just saw it a second ago. Where is it? There it is. Okay, here it is. Seems like they're open. I, I just saw it. Here it is. Strokes open. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to head over there and see if they are open, which again, they should be, hopefully, if they're advertising for that business. Now, uh, the plan is if they are not looking to hiring anyone, I want to go try and talk to some of the gangs if we can find them. Some of the bigger gangs, of course, uh, like the Vago, I'm guessing is a pretty big gang. I've seen them around pretty much everywhere. Um, so we're going to try and talk to them, maybe a couple other gangs, see if they need anything from us again. Just try and build our reputation a little bit more in the criminal scene. So uh, either way, let's head down all the way to the pier to Stroke Masters. Hopefully they are actually open. And again, hopefully they're hiring. Let's go check it out. All right. So we're pulling up now. Again, hopefully this place is open. So like there's someone in there. Let's go see again. This is a really, really bad chance that they're actually hiring, but you never know until you ask. So figured we would ask. Hello. Hello. Um, just figured I'd stop by. I wanted to see if you guys were hiring by any point. Um, we are, but um, there's a, like a lot of people on the list. Okay. So okay. um, like what will happen is if you give your details uh, through, you'll get called down for a uh, uh, audition, as I have to say. So can I grab your contact details? Can you share with me your contact details? Yeah. And is this the shift that you'd want to get hired for? Oh, uh, yes, most likely. I just sent it through to the owner. So she'll give you a call when they're doing interviews. And um, yeah, I think she's doing interviews today, but obviously there are a lot of people on the list. So I don't know if it'll like get through. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know, like to you like today or anything, but yeah. Perfect. Her your, your information. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. All right, you take care. Have a good rest of your day. You Stay too. safe. Bye-bye. Perfect. Okay, so probably not getting that job today or anytime soon, but but we are on the list for a potential applicant in the future. So that's definitely nice. Getting our name hopefully on the list. So hopefully we get a call back within the next couple days. I'm going to try and get that hopefully record you guys for whenever that does happen. And maybe we can get a job here. Honestly, it'd be a really nice place to work. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe Summit owns part of this. I could be wrong, but I believe he does. Obviously, we don't know that I see Lee, but I believe he does. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but either way, now I think we're going to try and talk to some of the gangs. Try and get a little bit more in depth with them. Uh, we're gonna think we're gonna head to the Vagos first. That's the only one who I know whose block is actually there because we have been checked by them when we were doing some boosts and we had them come around basically say, Hey, what are you guys doing in our neighborhood? etc. etc. So we do know that the Vagos live over there and we're gonna go pull up to their block. We're not gonna go in, but we're gonna pull up on the outside, try and talk to them. I see 
we can get something going. All right, so we're quite close. Now, basically what we're gonna say is, you know, we're not new new, but we're still relatively new and we're trying, trying to get our name out there a little bit basically and see if I need any help with anything. So let's see. Doesn't look like there's any Vagos around. I honestly have not seen them at their block very often, so I'm not sure if they're going to be here. I think I did see uh, some of the ballas on Grove Street. Now, in my time on GTRP, the ballas have always been more of a, a feared gang, not one that's exactly super friendly. So I'm a little worried about just, you know, kind of going down there and asking, but doesn't look like we have much choice if the Vagos aren't here, so... Let's head over the Grove Street. Hopefully, don't get shot up. Look, there's some around here. Yeah, screw it. Let's pull up. See if see if we can have a word with them. Just gonna walk like up here. See if we can get one of their attentions. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. I think he just pulled out a gun or he put it away. Hopefully put it away. Oh, well, he has a gun out. Hey, man. Hey, what can I do you for? Sorry? What can I do you for? Hey, um, I didn't want to just, you know, go on the block. I didn't want to be disrespectful or anything. Uh, but basically, I'm a little, little new around here. Not super new. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. Sorry? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking for some work and I was wondering if y'all had any. Um, again, I'm just trying to get my name out there. So if you guys need stuff, I can do, you know, lower the market price. Okay, uh, what, well, what kind of stuff are you looking for? I've got to let Draco know, but what's... Uh, what anything y'all kind of need, anything y'all need. All right, I'll let... Uh, here, give me your give me your contact. Yeah, yeah. Give me your contact and if uh, you need something, I'll give you a, I'll give you a shout. Perfect. Again, just trying to, trying to get my name out there a little bit, you know? Hey Zez, not a problem. I'm carrots, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, yeah, I know. Uh, I'll let the boys know. Uh, appreciate you coming down and saying hello. Of course. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Are you with any group or? Nope, just solo. Just by myself at the moment. Okay, well, I'll let them know that uh, if there's stuff you need, like are you looking at doing anything or specific? Anything, anything. Again, um, relatively new around here, so just trying to trying to build some connections, get my name out there a little bit. You know, the usual stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh. Let us know what you're interested in, what you're going to be doing, and um, that way we can uh, maybe we'll take some of this purse shit off your hand. Okay. I mean, I do pretty much everything. You know, ATMs, boosting all the, all the regular stuff, houses here and there. Yeah, we all do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you get uh, sequencers or sensors, let me know. Okay, we will do. All right. The boys always need those. All right, perfect. Uh, you mind sending me a text just so I get your contact as well? Yeah, here, I'll send you my contact. That'd be perfect. There you go, brother. Perfect, gotcha, man. Boys are always looking to do fucking uh, stuff with sensors and uh, stuff like that. Perfect. I got a couple of those, so should should be able to get you some. Okay, uh, yeah, just let me know. I'll give you a contact and I'll let the boys know. Perfect. All right, thank you very much, man. Nice meeting you. Are you? Is this about the time you're around all the time? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much every uh, day. Okay, yeah, because most of the local, most of the hooligans are usually here right now. They're asleep right now, but. They're usually here right now. I got you. I got you. I'll let you know if you got some shit like that. They'll probably contact you. Yeah. Yeah. Again, um, you know, obviously connections are more important than money in a lot of the time. So I'm just looking to build some of those, hopefully, with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right. You take care, mate. Stay safe. You too, man. Good stuff. Okay. That's that's been by far the uh, nicest ball that we've ever run into. I mean, he did pull up to us with a gun, but obviously we're on his block. That's respectable. There we go. Nice meeting with the ballers. Hopefully, we're going to start doing some work with them. Uh, he said most of their people are around at this time, which is perfect for us because this is when we're pretty much always around. So now we have built a little connection with them. Not going to lie. I was a little nervous when he was walking up with the gun, but uh, thankfully, pretty, pretty, pretty nice for uh, for a baller for sure. Definitely used to a little bit more rude ballas, so uh, definitely nice to see one that's kind of being nice to us for once. Now, we do have a, a bunch of money to clean, so I would like to get ourselves 
Okay. I would like to get ourselves possibly to on that one of those delivery jobs, making a little bit of money clean through that. Again, most of the stuff with that we've set up today, uh, like the gang stuff we just talked about, as well as the job, is going to be something for a future episode. So really, today is just a lot of prepping for the future a little bit. But for now, let's uh, probably start driving around. I'm going to call up a couple of restaurants, see if we can get ourselves a delivery job, because we got quite a lot of money to clean. All right, so I did check, and there are a couple of restaurants open, so we're going to try to call them. So, first of all, uh, where did we have? I saw Cafe Prego. Let's see if they are looking for any delivery drivers. Hello, it's Susina. Hello, um, I was just looking to see if you guys need any delivery drivers by any chance. Uh, I have one right now, but I'll call you back when he, I think he's about to leave. This, either this delivery or the next one, so I'll let you know, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Bye. You take care. See ya. Okay, so now I'll go look on the first one. Where is the other one? There was definitely another spot open. Uh, Bahama Mamas. Maybe not. Okay. Unfortunately, no other restaurants are open so we might have to go to the bahama mamas i believe they're open right now we can clean it that way but i i really just felt like the delivery job paid out more and my opinion was more enjoyable being able to go around do a couple things but uh either way let's regroup once again over at the apartment figure something out all right so back at the apartment unfortunately it doesn't look like any other restaurants are open i've been looking for a while of course it's just the cafe prego which they already have a delivery driver for. But what I think we're going to do to go along with the theme of today's episode of kind of working on stuff for the future. Nothing crazy happening right now. But of course, this stuff is all planned for in the future. Of course, um, I think what we're going to do is finally pay off our car, build up our credit score. Again, our credit score is 204 right now. What I think we're going to do is basically make all the payments on this car. So let's do payment. Boom. So it was 204 and now our thing is 216. Do another payment. Boom. Now we are at 228. Let's do the last payment. So boom, boom. And the final payment, I believe. Oh wait, maybe one more or two more. One. I uh, can't pay that far in advance. Hold loan for at least 10 days. Okay, so we can't fully pay it off at the moment. Unfortunately, let's see what our credit score is up to though. 228. But uh, we're pretty much done with the payments on this. We have, I think, $3,000, $218 left. So not bad, but apparently we do have to wait a little bit longer, it said, to make the last payments. Uh, we have to have the loan for at least 10 days. And I'm not sure if we can take out a another loan while well, we already have this loan going, because I did want to build our credit up a little more. But that's fine. We at least paid off more of that. So we can hopefully, again, build up our credit and allow us to take out bigger loans and hopefully get an a class in the future now i didn't see anything about it on twitter but i do want to head by the secondhand vehicle lot again we are starting to look for an a class for ourselves so we're actually able to compete in the races with our own car although we can use local cars and i do plan on probably doing some more races in local cars for quite a while but uh i'd like to eventually get our own but either way let's head past that used car lot real quick see if it's open it yeah it does not seem like the used car lot is open you know what um just so we have it confirmed because i'm not sure if it's possible or not uh maybe it's like a certain amount of money we can take out on the loans maybe we can do a second loan or second finance of our car i i don't know how it works but that's what we're gonna find out so we're gonna head over to pdm i'm pretty sure i saw an ad for them open like a half hour ago so hopefully they are still open and if so we're just i just want to get like a storage van so we have a nice storage vehicle i know we have the rv but to be honest i hate the rv like completely honest i just hate it i it just it just bothers me uh and every time we take it out it has no doors or a trunk so i would like to get us like a decent van that if we have to be seen of it it's not too embarrassing and of course just have some nice storage for when we start getting into some more stuff what we're gonna need a lot of storage for uh actually i've never seen that rv up there before i feel like i've came by here and i have not seen this rv wait maybe i have i have never seen this rv before is there anything in there or is it just kind of a I guess it's just like a little place. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Yeah, never mind. 
We got hyped up for nothing. All right. Well, let's head over to the PDM. Hopefully they're open and we'll see if we're able to get a second vehicle. And arriving over at PDM. Oh, there's someone in there, but not sure if he is a dealer. Let's see. It, well, again, the, the ad was posted quite a while ago, so there might not be anyone working, but might as well check. Hello. What's going on, man? Oh, uh, do you work here? Nah, I wish. Okay. okay do you know if anybody's enough. supposed to be here or not? Um, I saw an ad like a little while ago, but I'm guessing they're not here anymore. Yeah, I was doing deliveries and a lady told me that a guy named Cole works here and would be here, but I don't know if that's who made the same ad. Hmm. That was a while ago, though. Yeah. Uh, any chance, you know, can you have like a finance out on two vehicles? Do you know by any chance? I have no idea. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm <sighs> fucking lost. I'm just trying to find out how much like a certain car is worth. But... Oh, fair enough. What car is it? I might know. Possible. Salt and Classic. I got no idea. That's a B class, but yeah, I have no clue. All right, well, good luck with that, mate. Hopefully you can find them. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. All right, you take care. Unfortunately, no dealers, um, and I don't think I saw Sunrise Autos or any of the other dealerships open at the moment. Let me have a quick double check. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it. Just took a quick look at Yellow Pages, and it has started raining, of course. Uh, honestly, I really like the look of our car now. I think it looks a lot better. Obviously, it's, it's not super clean at the moment. We need to get a couple of washes on with it, but I think what we're going to do is potentially end the episode here i know it's a little bit of a shorter one but we made some good progress today a lot of the stuff we did today unfortunately again wasn't super action-packed or anything crazy but we are just setting ourselves up for the future on prodigy rp building some connections finally now i think what i'm gonna do off camera is most likely again keep hitting those atms uh keep doing some boosts possibly get back in the house robberies i just really suck at them but, but uh possibly do some more of those and try and get a bunch of stuff together for the ballas uh, deliver that to them uh at again a really good price we want to undercut the market just so they'll go through us and uh hopefully if we sell them enough stuff eventually they'll build some trust with us and maybe uh, allow us to buy some stuff from them or get some info from them in the future so i think it's going to be definitely a worthy investment we're also going to keep waiting on that call from stroke masters it's right down there near us hopefully we can get a call from them get a potential job interview see if we can become a mechanic get some steady income and as well as meet quite a lot of people through that job but uh, yeah for now i'm just going to keep working probably the next couple of days and try and get ourselves a lot more materials a lot more stuff that we're able to show up to the ballers with show them that we are at least worth a little bit of something and hopefully build some connections that way but i think that's gonna be about it for this episode again i know it was a short one but wicked that was on purpose uh but it was definitely a definitely a successful one um but i think it's gonna be about it for this episode if you guys did enjoy as always make sure to leave a like on this video and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video